Hey, what's going on guys? This is Georgie Porgy. I'm gonna jump into it right now. What I did was, I got a subscription to Snack Crate. What do they want you to do? They want you to unbox your world. So, <laughs> that's a good intro. So, once a month, I get a Snack Crate box and it has about six or seven different snacks in it. The thing is, it's a different country every month. You never know what country you're gonna get snacks from. So I think this Which will be I helpful. think is really cool. I think it's very cool too. Oh, I got my good friend Melissa here to uh, help me, I guess, uh, opine on the snacks. Yeah. Is that a good word, opine? Give our opinion. Sure. Okay, so would you do the honors and let us know what country we're gonna visit today? Of course. All right, here we go. Okay. Let's All find right. it. Let's, it's right here. Let's do this. Yeah, there we go. All right, okay. I'll use it later to cut his ass. Uh, okay, so there it is. The country we're visiting today. Can we see it? Oh wait, is there a glare? We're going to the UK. Where the hell's the UK? Where's the UK at? <laughs> what? Oh, you don't show glass. Oh, we're gonna. Show. I was showing the box. Okay, so all right, so we're going to the UK. Have you ever been to the UK? I have not. Me neither. I mean, I've been. To, I lived in Paris for a month, so there's oh, yeah. that. Maybe our next box will be from Paris. Oh, <gasps> I would love that. All right, so we got. All right, let's do this. Jeez, we got a bunch of snacks. Okay. So. Well, you have to show them. I am. I'm going to see if the label all straightened out. Well, here, actually, why don't you show them? Make sure there's no glare, and I will read the description. Can you see? Wait, can you see it? No glare. Can you see that one? Okay, so this is called Monster Munch. It's crispy corn snacks shaped like a monster's paw. It's infused with a zesty pickled onion flavor. It does say pickled onion. Pickled onion flavor. Well, let's try them. Come on. Let's... I mean, I do love myself some pickles, so there's that. Well, let's that. give them a try. All right, so this is called Monster Munch. Pickled onion flavored monster feet. <laughs> Go ahead, you. you eat the first uh, one. Oh, you know what they're Oh my god, they're literally shaped like monsters' feet. Like feet, yes. You know what it looks like? It looks like fun. Let's eggs. try it together. Okay. Cheers. Alright. I like them. I like them. That's a good time. I do like them. They're like bunions, except they taste better, I think. Yeah. I think they taste better. Certainly. Alright. That's a good time. I suggest these. Definitely a thumbs up. <laughs> Definitely a thumbs up for pickled onion monster feet. Dude, these, these are really good time. All right, let's go. We gotta try them all. Can't just eat the whole bag. All right, so let me get this. This next one is Hula Hoops Big Hoops. Show them with no glare. So where is it? where's Hula Hoops at? Big Hoops, oh, here it is. Hula Hoops grab No, that. show them. I know. Okay. All right, so, arguably the most popular chip brand in the UK. We have included either Worcester flavor chips or French fries. So what are they? Barbecue beef. See, it's them right there, right? Yeah. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to like this. Hold on. Worcester flavor chips or French fries. Well, let's see what's in there. Are they chips or French fries? They're like rings. Oh yeah, it says on the front pool of hoops, big hoops. So why does this say? All right, I don't know what's going on. Don't listen to him. Yeah, maybe I got the wrong. All right, well anyway, these are big hoops. There we go, big hoops, barbecue beef. <laughs> you don't look like I don't like them. <laughs> I gotta try. From the UK. They're not bad. They're not bad. Got like a kind of tastes like steak. Oh look, you get a cute right, little. Right, and I don't need. Get meat. a cute little sticker. But I sure like the bone. Hey, all right. I don't like that. Do the drink all. last. Okay. Oh. <laughs> all right, so that's a. I don't suggest that. Thumbs down from her. I think it's okay. It's not as good as the. Uh, Monster oh, Munch. Oh no, the Monster Munch they were good. was bagging. But the hoops, nah, I mean, they're okay. She, she can't stand them. Oh, Not all right. Bad. 
So now this next one, how do you say that word? Jaffa? Or is it? Hoffa cakes. Are you sure? All right, so is it Jaffa? I'm, edu I'm edumacated. Is it Jaffa or Hoffa? It's a J-A-F-A, I don't know. But anyway, it's that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Jaffa. All right, so here's the explanation for that. Uh, it's a biscuit-sized cookie. Oh, no. Damn, the writing's so small. It's, wait, hold on, hold on. I got the solution. Yeah. Hold on. All right. <laughs> it is a biscuit-sized cake introduced to the UK by McVitie and Price in 1927. You literally reading that through a magnifying glass. And named after the popular Jaffa oranges. Is it Jaffa or Ha? <laughs> All right, let's try. It's a ha. Come on, try, open. Right, this can't be an hour long video. It can't be. Let's go. Jeez, I can't even open it. No. So is it like one cake? I guess so. Yeah, you shouldn't take this long to open one. <laughs> oh, they're cookies. Oh, that's what I said, cookie, and it, but it says cake. It does say cake. It says biscuit sized oh, cake. Oh, shit. Well, aren't cookies a biscuit sized cake? What do we got? I'm just going to give that to you. Oh, is it one? Oh, no, it's all one. Pe no, wait, no, yeah, there you go. There you I go. tried to break that one and it broke off of my Okay. Hand. All right, so these are biscuit sized cakes. So it kind of looks like a vanilla wafer thing, but then it's like chocolate coated. Mm. Chocolate coated on the bottom. Probably pretty good at that. I approve. Yeah, I like it. And what are they called again? Oh, Jaffa. <laughs> Jimmy Hoffa cookies. That's what they're called. I don't know. So, Hoffa cakes. All right. Hoffa cakes. All right. That one's good. But this is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I approve of this one. All right. And Rote approves. Okay. Now, our next one. You want to hold up? Yeah. Our next one is called Millions Strawberry. This kind of reminds me of, um, it kind of reminds me of... Get closer so they can see it. What's that ice cream? Oh, Dippin' Dots. Dippin' Dots. All right, so it's called... look at the bag. They're all little tiny dots. So, all right, listen. It reminds me of Dippin' Dots. This miniature candy packs a big flavor. Enjoy the crunchy, chewy texture of either black currant, raspberry, or strawberry flavors. I guess, well, obviously, we got strawberry. Yeah, we got strawberry. All right. Do you want to try that, the candy? Yeah. Alrighty. Oh, that's See, a good that stuff. That was a good time. Yeah, we can finish everything when we're done, or whatever you want to finish. All right, so you're opening the candy. All right, so here's a few for you. Okay. Okay. As you can see, hold on. Ah. See, oh, look, one just went across the floor. I can't, oh. <laughs> you see? All right. Hold on, I just, need here, some. Here, pour over here. Yeah, there you go. There you go. All right. Oh, my goodness. So, now were they hard or chewy or what? Let's eat one at a time. All right. No, I'm going to throw mine in. You're going full throttle? Oh, it's like, um... It's like a soft nerd. No, yeah, it's like a candy-coated bubble gum. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I like it. It's pretty good. So far, I like everything. She only disliked one thing. So... This shit is for the birds. Yeah, she's not no, a big fan. Don't like it. All right. You know what? I guess is this candy too. We're gonna try this. Dude, that was a good time. I don't. The only thing I, I probably wouldn't eat these a lot. They stick between your teeth and all, and it's annoying. I don't like that. That's true. Um, this is a sherbet fountain. You can show them, and I will read the, the description. <laughs> this UK classic is a fun dip style candy that features a fizzy sherbet powder along with a licorice stick for dipping. He's still reading. With I, have, I can't look how little the print is. <laughs> I can't see shit. All right, so base. Oh so this God. is like, uh, remember the fun dip? I love fun dip. Well, they're saying it. That that's what this is like, but I don't like that it says it comes with a licorice stick. Oh, I mean, okay. you're sucking on that, not me. HR. All right, hold on. All right, so I opened it. Hold on. I'm not even sure how this works. Oh, did that just break? No, no, that's the lid. Or maybe it did, I don't know. So there's the lid. I don't know. I don't even know if I want to look at this. All right, look. 
So I took the lid off. I don't know, maybe it did break. It's filled with like a white powder that I'm about to vacuum off my floor later. <laughs> and there's like a stick, the liquor stick. But look, when you take it, like the whole thing comes up. See, it's, I don't know. Oh, my God, that just spilled everywhere. I know, I got a vacuum, I'm not worried about it. So you I don't, don't clean anyway, so. So I don't know about the Sherbert, the, what is it, Sherbert, no wait. Yeah, Sherbert Fountain. I don't know, maybe it would be good, but uh, the packaging sucks and it just spills out everywhere. It does. Well, I guess you could just open it like this if you want. I don't want to, but you can try it. I mean, I don't, <laughs> I don't want, to. want to do that, but. Or maybe dip your finger, I guess. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like when you test out your cocaine on the weekends, you just dip your pinky in it? Yeah, never me, though. <laughs> yeah, I still got that stuff stuck in my teeth. So what is this long? I think that's what you're supposed to dip with. So see, all right. God, it's why it's just, what if it is coke? We got the wrong package. <laughs> What does it taste like? It's supposed to be sherbet. What is it? A sherbet. Definitely fountain. not sherbet. Well, it says. Oh well, it's either going to be. Hold on. A fizzy sherbet along with a licorice stick for dipping. All right, I don't know. It doesn't even say what flavor. I don't really. I give it a thumbs down just for the packaging. Here. No, I don't know. Come I'm on. not licking your fingers. No. Um, thumbs down just for the package design. I don't like it. And what is you this? Pull the stick, you pull the stick out. That's the licorice stick for dipping, but the whole thing's stuck to it. The, yeah, it, it literally is. So they can keep that in the I UK. I don't want to come in. I don't want to mess. Yeah. Make a mess. But. Pack her away. They can keep this in the UK. We don't want it. We don't want it. All right. So now they also throw in. They also They also throw in these candies. All right, let me see. They just threw it. These are. It's a, it's a, <gasps> oh my God! Juicy these remind me of the um, juicy chews. They I don't remind know. me of the flavored Tootsie Rolls. Oh, is that what they are like? I don't know, but it's. That's oh wait, what here it, it is. Me. Here it is. The juicy chews. Let it look. He's... Hold on, listen. They, everybody sees. I, I'm not hiding it. It's right here. Everybody can see it. All right. Bite-sized fruit-flavored chews with a burst of liquid fruit in the center. So it's Ooh. like a Tootsie Roll, but. It's got liquid in the center. You gotta love a juicy center. So I wasn't gonna try it, but now I am because it sounds fun. Oh wait, I don't, oh, it's hard. Look, right. I, I wasn't expecting that. That's the whole point. And then, then in the center, it's juicy. So you have to suck on it for a long time. No, you. <laughs> I mean, I guess you, you bite <laughs> into it, and the juice right. like. Oh, you're out. right. It's not hard. It's it's like I got you. Yeah. It is. It's like a tootsie roll with look, juice in the center. It's very soft. I, I can bend this. It's malleable. <laughs> Alright. So tell them what you think of that. Because it will hold on. Alright, well it's good. That's actually a good time. It is good. Probably not good to chew while you're trying to talk on a video, but. No. Now they also include one drink. It's called Non-alcoholic. Yeah, it's not it's it's carbonated flavored salt. How is it carbonated flavored? What flavor is carbonated? Oh, it's separate words. Carbonated, flavored, and a soft drink. It doesn't say what flavor. I'm guessing orange. You can see, it says, what is it? Urn, bro, urn brew? Urn bro. Hey, it's from the UK. This came from the UK. So. All the way from the UK. We're gonna try this. So. Hey, hey. <laughs> all right, so we've got, tell them what you think about so far, I'm gonna give us two cups with ice so we can try the warm drink. Okay? Got it. I'm really digging this candy. Got it. You literally have cups ready? Yes, cups ready. <laughs> with ice. Okay. So here we go. We're gonna try the, go. the, what's it called? Unibrow? <laughs> what's the name of it? Urn Brew. Urn Brew. Oh, uh, here it is. Arm brew. Here, while you pour them, I'll read the description. Brewed in Scotland since 1901, this orange colored soda outsells both Coke and Pepsi in the UK. Wow. In the UK, not here. But still, that's pretty impressive. All right. Cheers. Oh, I didn't even plan on the orange cups and the orange soda. It just kind of happened. You're so. Cheers. Cheers. Cheerio, mate. Uh, oh. 
pretty good. It's just like a regular orange soda, I think. No, you don't like? I, I, I'm all right with it. It's got like a touch of cream soda in the center. Yes, that's yeah. what, I, what I. Yeah, it's like orange soda, but then when you exhale, you can taste cream soda. Yes. Yeah. And that's what threw me off at first. But other than that, it was good. So that does it. I mean, we still got a bunch of like little, you know, the juicy chews. They gave us a bunch of them. They were a good time. So, oh, I didn't try this flavor. Look, they gave us different flavors. Yeah, there's like orange and I guess grape or I don't know, red, whatever the hell it is. All right. Only orange and cherry. So that was our visit to the UK. Tried my, now they do sell bigger boxes, but we're already at 15 minutes. I didn't want to make the videos too long. Everybody be like, oh my God, who cares? Or you might be saying that now anyway, I don't know. But that was a trip to the UK. Once a month, we're going to visit a different country and we'll share it with you guys. Uh, I think the biggest winner today. For sure. Whoops. Absolutely for sure. I'll have to vacuum the whole damn place. And these cookies. These are the biggest hit today. The, mo the monster feet. The monster oh, feet and these. Shit, the back is fucked and open lock. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys next month. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next we'll month. We'll see we you next We travel month from another country. Another country, yes. All right, see you.